In this video, I'm going to unlock all the confusion of this topic and break it down for you. I'm going to explain how to recognize falsetto and what it sounds like. I'm going to teach you how to engage in falsetto safely and effectively, how to transition seamlessly from chest voice to falsetto and outline the risks associated with falsetto if done incorrectly. Welcome back to Voice Generation. I'm Anne Lowe and this is Penny. Say hello, Penny. <laughs> I've studied music and singing for over 50 years. I've been a professional musician, singer, performer and teacher for 40 years, teaching and coaching all levels, all ages and singing teachers from one to one up to large vocal workshops. I encourage you to persevere with a very solid scientific foundation my teaching is giving you at any level you're at. Just come as you are. It's informative, forward moving and fun. And remember, good vocal health always comes first. There's so many schools of thought out there, a great many teachers of singing, and this used to be me, offer modified techniques that have been around for centuries and they believe it to be okay. But with the vast difference of music styles of today, those old teaching methods that have been copied, modified and built upon often miss the mark in the application of the majority of contemporary styles of singing. You see, modern singing of today has a much harsher approach than the early classical and operatic singing of its time. So latest science-based techniques should be very well understood and taught and applied in order to successfully make the sounds you want to without traumatizing your vocal apparatus and disabling your ability to improve and expand in the areas you need to and the areas you want to. Falsetto is commonly defined as the higher register of the male or female voice. It's got that flute-like quality. It's not uncommon for some women to use falsetto in their speaking voices, but for men speaking in falsetto, it's quite rare. Unless you're like Australia's own Barry Humphreys' Dame Edna Everidge. Hello, possums! In its purest form, falsetto often engages with no vibrato, which you hear in boys' choirs. Like this. You also hear falsetto in its purest form in early music like medieval, renaissance and baroque periods. Falsetto is used in modern genres like jazz, folk and contemporary pop styles, high male harmonies, a cappella groups, etc. So that's how you'd recognise falsetto in the singing voice or the speaking voice. Now, how do you do it? Let's start with a very gentle sigh. <sighs> This is very free and breathy. Try it again. <sighs> now say, hey, hey, hey. To set up the falsetto quality, you'll start first with a steady stream of air. Then you'll hear a tiny pop when the sound starts. This is what it looks like on a diagram. And a warning to you, this must only be approached with extremely soft sound. See my video on Sing Without Strain. Now this is a section you can practice doing on one note in a comfortable part of your sigh range on your vowel sounds by placing a ha huh at the beginning of them. So ha, he, he, ha, hu. Try it again. Ha. He. He. Ha. Who. Now try it on ta with a t instead of a h. Ta. Te. Te. Ta. Tu. You could start it with the piano. Ta, te, ti, ta, tu, ha, he, hi, ha, hu, ha. Ha, hu. 
So you can hear the stream of air coming first, then the pop of the sound, the sound closing and being created. So the vocal folds are starting to vibrate. You can practice doing this anywhere in your comfortable part of your psi range, as I said before. Once you've finished practicing that, take a vocal rest and just let your voice relax. I want to explain to you now about the risks. And do see my video on Sing Without Strain because it talks about all the risks that can come with the way we create onsets with our sound. Whenever there's a presence of air in your sound, there is always risk of vocal strain or trauma. It's very important you practice this gently and softly. Only practice this little bits at a time. The key to good singing practice is to practice little bits and often and vocally rest in between. Never overexert your voice. Most people think falsetto is only used once they can't get any higher with their chest voice and need to adjust the mechanics to attain an increased frequency. I've heard it described as they feel like they have to change gears at a certain point within their range. But let's just have a closer look at this. Your vocal folds adjust their condition and thickness depending on what voice quality or register you're engaging. This is a picture of the arytenoid cartilages that are connected to your vocal folds and other muscles. The arytenoid cartilages open and close and elongate the vocal folds, which are partly responsible, and I stress partly responsible, for your pitch. Just for now, let's replace the term chest voice with speech quality. In speech quality, the cover of your vocal folds are at their thickest and relatively short. This is a picture of your vocal folds abducted, which means they are open to breathe, and this picture is your vocal folds adducted, which means they close to vibrate, making sound. When you move from speech, aka chest voice, to falsetto, aka head, your arytenoid cartilages rock backwards, causing the condition of your vocal folds to elongate and their body cover becomes stiff. I just want to burst a little myth here. Falsetto and head voice is the same thing. It's the same physiological setup. Falsetto is not limited to the higher part of your singing voice as many people believe. You can produce falsetto on any pitch in your range. Falsetto can be used in the lower part of your range also like this. I'm going to start a note in speech, aka chest, and on that same note and breath, move into falsetto and again You can hear it gets weaker, the falsetto gets weaker the lower down it goes. It does get stronger the higher it goes. But you can still create that, that quality, the falsetto quality in all parts of your range. So you can hear it starts to clunk and move into the stiff vocal folds there. So you can hear I'm moving from my thick vocal folds in my chest or my speech into my stiff vocal folds as the arytenoid cartilages rock backwards, elongating the vocal folds. This is a good time for you to try it now. This exercise illustrates the abrupt change between thick and stiff folds and what it 
feels and sounds like for you. You can start anywhere in your range. Ah, ah, anywhere you like and you can experiment with that. So your thick folds will be more meaty and, and have more grip. Your stiff folds become a lot more breathy and they don't feel as stable as the thick meaty folds. It's just a different sensation. Do you remember the song Zombie by the Cranberries? The late Dolores O'Riordan used thick vocal folds and then she moved to stiff vocal folds throughout her singing. That song, for example, goes like this. Zombie, zombie, eh, 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 eh. So that's what she was doing throughout different parts of the songs that she used to sing. The ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So she's going from thick vocal folds, the arytenoid cartilages are rocking backwards and those vocal folds are becoming stiff, bringing you into that falsetto area. So I think she rocks those arytenoids really well. She used to do this as part of her singing signature. People who yodel are also doing exactly this. You might remember from The Sound of Music, an old song called The Lonely Goat Herd. So I'll just sing a bit. High on a hill was a lonely goat herd, lady or lady or lady ho. Soon have a ma with a gleaming goat herd, lady or lady or low. So that's a kind of yodel. And that goes from thick, beefy, meaty vocal folds into stiff, elongated vocal folds called falsetto. Now it's time to smooth it out. The proverbial thorn in the side for most singers is that abrupt clunk as they move from speech into falsetto. Unless, of course, you particularly want that effect, most singers desire a seamless transition between the two conditions. The classical term for this transition is the passaggio. So to smooth out this clunk, this is what you do. You engage in a voice quality called twang. Now I have a full tutorial on twang coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. For now, gently and smoothly say, Meow, meow. As you say this, you shouldn't hear any air escaping at all. And as you get higher in your range, it takes a little bit more effort to maintain that consistent and smooth meow, meow. Just try it a few times. Meow, meow. What do you think, Pin? Meow. <laughs> As soon as the pure sound is no longer possible, you need to stop and rest. And remember, no air should be heard during this and you should feel no dry prickly feeling at the back of your throat. If you do, you must stop and evaluate what's happening and ask yourself, am I expelling too much air as I make this sound? If you are, it's probably on the owl part of the, of the lyric, the meow, the owl, because you've, ah, you're pushing that, it's almost like a glottal <coughs> ah. Be aware of this and sip the ow sound in as you make it. Ow, 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 ow. So you don't want that glottal <coughs> ow push out. You want it just to be sitting in. Meow, meow. The other question you need to ask yourself is, am I making the sound too loud? And am I constricting the sound like this? Meow, 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 meow. You don't want to be doing that. It has to be flowing freely without any constriction and without any burst of like a cough on the owl. Meow, meow, meow. So we're going to try it now with the piano and we're going to do it very slowly because it's, it's important that you actually can open up and stretch this whole sound out. The m, mm, which is pushing off, the yow, yow, meow. And so you've got that consistency flowing and opening up. So we'll start with this. And it's going to be like this, one, three, five, three, one. So we're gonna go, meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. 
If you have to cry into it, that's okay. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Keep it going. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. One more. How did that feel? If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments below because I will answer those questions. We're going to try the same exercise, but rather than one, three, five, we're going to go one, five, eight. So this stretches and opens up the, the capacity, the, the, the range and the capacity as you're using this lyric. We'll call it a lyric. Demonstration. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Don't make it too loud. Meow, 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 meow. Keep it nice and soft on the top notes. Three, four. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. One more. Keeping it nice and open and smooth and consistent. Meow, meow. Very good. Do go over that and keep trying it and practicing it, but don't push, particularly on the higher part of the notes, otherwise you, it moves you out of that condition of falsetto and starts to strain the voice. Now, applying it to your song. Firstly, be sure any song you are singing is in the right key for your voice, not too high and not too low be just right. Some songs have a limited range in the melody, whilst others can be quite the opposite and have quite a wide, broad range within the song. You need to find yourself something in between that's not too ambitious, but has a section that moves from speech to falsetto. In that section, for practicing purposes, use the lyric meow in the place of the song lyrics and meow all the way through the song, particularly over the section that you're going to be moving from thick vocal folds into stiff vocal folds or chest voice to falsetto or speech quality to falsetto. Sing the song through, engaging in the method I just gave you. Do this a few times, then little by little introduce some of the lyrics back in. Practice this slowly, taking note of which lyrics or lyric is preventing the smooth transition and replace it or replace them with the meow. Gradually morph the sensation of the meow with the lyrics. The meow should be activated prior to the transition and over the transition. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them for you. If you haven't already done so, please like, subscribe and share with anyone who will benefit from my videos. Until then, see you next week. Bye.